Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a QR code to your app. And let me quickly do a demo here. I've, I'm using an earlier design on affiliate accounts, and I've already started to fill it out. So let me just go over here. I've got this user QR at test.com. And when I create it, you're going to see these QR codes will get created. All right, so here we are. We've got this user QR test, and these are the QR codes. So if you actually put your smartphone uh, up to the screen, up to the video here, and if your phone is set up, you will be able to uh, go to the link, which actually I've got it set up so that it is this link right here for this particular affiliate person QR test. Um, so that's how uh, that's what a QR code looks like. Uh, you've probably seen these before. And so what I'm going to do is uh, walk you through the design so that you can add it to your app. And what we have right here is, um, let's see, where are we? QR code. And to find it, just simply go to plugins and type in QR space code. And it should pop up. Yep, there it is. So this is the Bubble Cloud Labs uh, Generate Scan QR code. So I've already got it installed on here. So yeah, just click on plugins um, and then go to um, add that plugin. And the design for this is, is actually fairly straightforward. Um, I've basically got two, two text boxes on here, or rather two image on here. One is um, affiliate code, uh, QR code as an image, and the other one as a text. And, and the reason I wanted to show you that you can store these QR codes in two different ways in the database. So the magic is really um, in the workflow, which I'll get to in a moment. Let me show you in user. So again, all I have here are these two data fields that I've added, affiliate QR code image as type image, and then affiliate QR code as a text. And if you actually go over here to app data, and where are my users? <clears throat> so this is the user I just created. And you can see the QR code. Uh, this one's stored as uh, the image, and this is stored as the, uh, rather over here, is stored as uh, Amazon uh, file S3. That, that's where Bubble stores it. And you can actually click on this. And you can see what it what it looks like there. Okay, let me just cancel out of this. <clears throat> so, what I've got here is when I do the create account workflow, um, it actually does a pop up and so forth. But um, right here, sign the user up. So these workflows, and I'll put a link below to the uh, video that I have for showing how to set this all up for the affiliate. But the only thing that I've done on that affiliate design is I've added these two fields here for the QR code image and QR code uh, text. And basically, QR code generate. And what'll happen is you'll get this pop-up here and then API provider generate and scan. So this is actually gonna be the generate. And then the current user's link. <clears throat> so what we really want here is the current user's link and that's how we get this here from bubble okay so use current users link let me just walk through this uh, for you so affiliate qr code image and then insert dynamic when i click on that right here it'll get insert dynamic data pop up <clears throat> oh, excuse me um and then what you want to do is where it says at the top of this little pop-up here, we, you want to get data from external API. So click get data from an external API. And then you'll get this uh, pop-up here, API provider, and then QR code generate. And then for that, insert dynamic data, current user, and then scroll down to the bottom to get uh, where a uh, link right there. current user's link. And then pixels, you can play around with the different pixel sizes. Um, this one's 200. 
Um, I just leave it as a default. Seems to work fine with my iPhone, um, but you can play around with that if you need to for your app. Okay, <clears throat> so this is how you go and you create the um, QR code right here. And this one right here for the text, it's identical. So let me just go and show you real quick here. Let me go and delete it. And all I did here, so you can right click or if you're on a, um, on a Mac, you can uh, with two fingers press your, your uh, keypad or your mouse pad, copy expression, you can bring it over here, insert dynamic data. Now if you go and you just, if you just go and paste it right here, it's not going to give you the right information. You got to click on the insert dynamic data and you'll see how this field changes here from search. Okay, you want to have that search and then you do the right click or two fingers on your um, Mac's pad, um, your mouse pad, and then it'll paste it right in there. So that's all you have to do. And now this is all set up in the database. Um, and that is basically it. So for these uh, images here, again, I just have current users affiliate QR code uh, image and then for text. And it's really, it's that simple. So go over here and, and that's what, what you have. Those are two QR codes. Um, again, I just did this so you could see that both of those data fields provide the same thing from a text perspective. Now, Using a QR code can be a, a nice thing to, to put on uh, business cards or brochures or flyers or pamphlets uh, that either your affiliates um, or if you're doing an online store and you have a bunch of different storefronts on there, they may want to go and have their own QR code so that they can hand out their flyers and whatnot to their customers and their customers can on their smartphone or iPad or whatever it may be, they can go and uh, click on the QR code or look at it through their, their phone um, and then it'll pop up to the website and in this case uh, for this demo it's going to go to the index page for this particular user QR test and then whatever information for that particular user will be there um, for their customers. Uh, so that's basically it for this uh, demo on QR codes. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a, a thumbs up. I do appreciate those. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. I do have some more videos in the pipeline, so if you subscribe to this channel, you will get notified um, by YouTube when those are available. Thank you.